Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, if you want to get your own personal reading, if you want to donate to the channel, whatever. Anyhow, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, we have some great cards here. Um, so the first card that came out was leave him or her alone. Give them room to change. Okay, then we had um, they hate you just because you, you're you, period. No other reason. So we got somebody or a group of people, they they hate you just for you being you. Then we have uh, the condition of being successful or thriving, especially economic well-being. So we have prosperity. Aquarius, some of you are prospering. You are you're in the condition of thriving, being successful. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, we have our favorite on our on our on this channel here we have our saying work gets rewarded do the work and for some of you you have done the work or you are doing the work or you you need to hear this you know get get to work do the work and we do have somebody who could be who was who is having an affair with a co-worker okay um let's talk about it let's see what the tarot has to say uh for each card all right let's see so we'll start so I know y'all want to see it. So we'll start with this one first. Leave him or her alone. Give them room to change, Aquarius. All right. Leave him or her alone. Give them room to change. Leave him or her alone. Give them room to change. Clarify this for the collective, for the Aquarius collective. Okay. Four of Wands, Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So the universe put some space, some time in between you and your loved one. It may be a time of just no activity, nothing really happening between the two of you. Because somebody needs time um, to maybe move away from a group of women or a group of people or um, some place that they thought was a home. Uh, they need to move away from that, what they called home. They also need to do some heart chakra healing. This person also needs to mature. With the seven of pentacles, they need maturity to happen. It's not over between the two of you. Um, but it's just the fact that this person needs time to change. This could be your twin flame. So you share, you know, a, a special bond, you know, soul. Um, you share soul. Maybe, you know, one soul, two souls. I don't know. You share. Um, give this person time to maybe even move away from, heal from karmic situation toxicity lies and drama this person is still kind of closed down and closed off so give them time to change here you know the universe is saying it's just not time for you guys to be together right now okay so what do we have next we've got uh, the condition of being successful or thriving prosperity for the Aquarius here. Let's see what this is about for Aquarius. Some of you are just in a real good place. You've done the work. You're doing the work. Money's coming in. You are successful. Whatever it is you are doing, you affirmed it to the universe and to yourself. Therefore, you are in alignment. Yes, yeah, some of you are, you know, in perfect alignment with your soul purpose. Um, a spiritual path that you're on 
um, this is this looks really good. You're in partnership. Some of you could have a job. You could be an employee, or some of you are in partnership with the divine, with the universe. You get messages. You you um you help heal. Okay, very nice. And you've made a business of it. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Very nice. So you help divide rightly, rightfully divide the truth of a matter. You understand that opinions. You know, everyone has one, and everyone is entitled to it. Um, and you'll hear people out, but you also, um, you know, that you have the final say you are the executive in your life. Some of you have really made significant change to the point where you're at a place of thriving. You're at a place of being successful because you cut out things that were not valuable, things that did not serve you, things where you couldn't, you, you really just weren't going to move or grow from it. So um, that's really good, Aquarius. Some of you went and got counseling, some type of counseling to move forward. This could be business counseling, emotional counseling, any type of counseling. Um, let's see. Uh, some of you are business owners. Okay. Yeah, the Ten of Cups, the World, the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Some of you feel like it's not over. <laughs> you know, the tough time is not over. It does say do not give up before the miracle actually happens in your life aquarius um don't be in the dark night of the soul too long understand that you know and don't think negative about everything you know be in that high positive vibration knowing that you're protected by the universe knowing that um this type of energy is over for you you don't have to live that way knowing that um happiness you know fortune after a difficult period is coming or has come for you this is over for a lot of you and for some of you you're right on the brink of coming into you know the the uh the act of you know being the act of thriving and being successful okay so um don't give up you're on the brink of something great something prosperous okay uh, for some of you and some of you are already there everybody's on a different timeline right all right so um we'll save that one for last okay so they hate you just because you're you period no other reason let's see who is hating you know when you're in this high vibrational energy expect it you know expect the hate expect the you know um the discord the dysfunction Ex expect that to come towards you you know um the dark is attracted to the light, you know, so, all right, so they hate you just because they're, you're you, yeah, the ten of swords, people who have cursed you, some people are getting exactly what they deserve, things are falling down for them, things have collapsed for, for them, some of you have come out of a spell or a time where things were just were not looking up for you, and these people just hate you because you maybe you pulled yourself up by the bootstraps, I mean, you made it happen, you accepted where you were, and you took it, you know, initiative, uh, motivation behind getting yourself up becoming an entrepreneur uh, behind thriving behind moving forward uh, all of your motivation was in uh, seeing this through you threw your hat in that ring and now you know you're coming out victorious and people hate you just for that they hate you for your energy for your knowing also some of you could be shamans seers psychics tarot card readers they hate you that you know yeah, they hate you that you have magic about yourself, that you're so fertile, um, maybe, you know, literally fertile, um, but th that you have um, everything that you touch is kind of like on fertile ground or you're at a very fertile time in your life. You start something and it just grows. It just, people just hate you. They hate you because your hair is growing. They hate you because your business is growing. Your butt's growing. I don't know. Everything is growing around you. Your territory is, you know, enlarging here for you and people just hate you for that. It these are very singular cards so it's not as if you're doing anything in a group or you're asking for you know group participation crowdfunding or anything of that nature you're just all by yourself and people hate you that maybe you're not in a place of need um uh, lack and you're not um you know depending on the kindness of strangers you're really you know depending on self in the universe all right they hate you just because of you yeah because you keep your business to yourself um you tamed your emotions uh, you've come out differently um, you practice restraint uh, you don't allow yourself to be easily brought down to negativity to arguments to drama uh, again you keep everything to yourself especially if it doesn't belong to other people everybody does not you know um, 
they do not uh they should not have access to you you know in your most intimate the most intimate details of your life you know that and you're living by that with the strength card here people don't like that you don't you know you're not as trusting you know you're open and you're friendly but you're not as trusting you're not giving out your business so freely they don't know what's going on with your money also mystery around someone else's money how did you inherit that or where'd you get that from so people hate you for that reason too one more card for why these people hate the aquarius what's going on what is going on if you want to tell the aquarius why these people hate them so um okay they gave you two more cards to us they never know what you're doing what you're up to okay they just see you working working real hard they see you on the brink of something big they hate you because something really big is about to happen for you in your life aquarius and these people hate you just for that they hate you that you are favored and uh, they hate your work ethic they hate your athleticism okay um your ability they hate that you're getting a lot of um, praise that you're getting a lot of opportunity they hate that they can't touch it or they can't be involved in it they hate that you won't talk to them that you maybe you have not offered reconciliation or a conversation you're not willing to negotiate with them they hate that you moved somewhere you moved away they hate your good nature to the core of you you are good you know with the six of cups coming out they hate that you know you really just it comes naturally to you to be good to do good for them it will be a stretch or it would be um you know out of the box or it'll be something different for them to immediately go to good you know because maybe these people or that person they gravitate toward bad so they hate this about you that innately you are good you are a positive you are innocent you are giving you are loving you have gifts maybe from the heavens you know so they absolutely hate that um okay so aquarius work gets rewarded what do we want to tell aquarius about the work that they do and how it will be rewarded do the work aquarius all right let's see i knew it was coming out the will of fortune Look, it's saying, look, you have the, of course, the will of fortune is a major arcana. So it's really backed by spirit, you know, God, whatever it is you believe in. Um, but it's also, you can turn that wheel. You can get in alignment. Firstly, you doing the work and then the universe appreciating, seeing where you are, seeing that you're in alignment with doing work here, you know, in the 3D. And they do work in the spiritual realm and make things happen. For it is on us to do the possible and it is for God to do the impossible. So if you're not doing the possible, do you expect God, spirit, whatever you believe in to do the impossible? That is called true alignment. So some of you do the work, get in alignment here, do what you need to do. If it's possible for you to go get that business license, to get that EIN number, if you're in the United States, um, to um, get on that treadmill, start, just start somewhere, then do it. You can't keep praying for change. You have to be the change, okay? So, um, yeah, work will get rewarded. You will turn that that wheel of fate, of destiny, where the universe just starts to align things. It's like, look at the Aquarius go. So they're like, oh, we got to open so many doors because look at the Aquarius. They're just like doing everything. We can't not do anything. Um, so, and, and that is, um, you know, a principle. You know, principles reign true. They just don't. They're not false. They, they will never be false. So if you do the work, it will get rewarded by way of opening doors, sitting amongst new people, um, different social groups, um, psychic abilities being enhanced for you or people around you. The work will get rewarded here, Aquarius, but do the work. Um, all right, let's see. What else do we want to tell Aquarius? Okay. You have five of pentacles. Um, poor, poor mindset. Come out of the mindset of I, I'm not enough. I don't have enough lack of confidence in you fill in the blank yourself or other things or other people. Um, some of you, if your business is not doing well, because it talks about uncertain self-employment, um, do the work, do more work, make more offers. Okay. Put more out there. Therefore you'll see the wheel turn. Okay. It just is what it is. Once again, principles reign true. If you continue to do this and do this and do this and do this, then something will shift. 
But if you do nothing or if you stand still or you stay at prayerful or wishful thinking, that is not what gets things moving. You know, action, take action. Uh, don't feel like you're being used. Also, if you're in a place of lack, homelessness, um, being destitute, not having enough, know that that is a temporary state of being. Don't stay there too long. Don't do the woe is me. Don't be, you know, feeling, you know, okay, pathetic or pitiful. You know, it, there's a story that goes behind this card, the five of pentacles. Um, there's a Greek goddess, um, Penia. I, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I may not be, but anyway, she's a, the Greek goddess of poverty. What she does is goes around to everyone's home, knocks on their door. If anyone lets her in, it's a hard time getting her out. So what it says is, um, don't let poverty rest with you too long. And, and for some of you, don't even let it, you know, set in your home, in your heart space, you know? Um, understand that's a temporary thing. You can change your money, you know, just as quickly as it, as it shifted. Um, you can do the most smallest thing. You can sell something. If you got something of value and you need money, get rid of it. There's your money issue changing. Now we need to talk about earned income, what you can do to earn an income, but money, money, you know, uh, issues can change at the drop of a dime. You can't look at it like, well, woe is me. I don't have enough. I don't have this. I don't have that. If you do, that's where you will be. You will, the Greek God, the Greek goddess Penia will, you know, rest with you. She'll stay there. You'll have a hard time getting out of that place because it's a mindset to be impoverished is a mindset. So don't let it rest with you too long. All right. And right, let's see what else do we have? Um, it also says here with these two cards, you can change your fortune you can change this, you know, um, very temporary state of being, uh, let's okay. Yeah. Five of cups. Don't do the woe is me. Yeah. You missed opportunity. Don't um, sit on that too long. Like, oh, I should have done and I should have did and I didn't do and it should have could have would have and oh my gosh. And you know, I spent so much money and I wasted so much money and I threw away money here and I did this. Don't live in the past. See that there's opportunity, two of cups behind you. Mourn it, move on. It happened. Learn how to say that. Uh, a few years ago that came to me, you know, when I was, you know, in a place, I forget where it was, but I was, you know, just going over something over and over again. And Spirit just said, it happened. And he kept yelling at me, it happened. So maybe that's what you need to tell yourself. It happened. I lost the house. I lost the car. I lost the bid. I lost the money. I lost the contract. It happened. What do you do after that? It happened. Is it? it happened. You have to learn how to say that to yourself. It happened. All right, let's see what else. One last card for work gets rewarded. All right, let's see. Yeah, the moon card. Again, um, light, dark. Uh, what is visible? What is not visible? The veil. If you do your part, spirit will do their part. What, you know, um, you just have to stay consistent. Don't lie to yourself. Also, be realistic about your goals, about your aspirations. There may be some vivid dreams that you're having. Um, try to make sense of them. Write them down. Ask God. Ask spirit. Whatever you believe in. What does this mean? Why did I dream of this? Uh, be cautious of making deals with people. There might be some underlining issues here that you don't see something behind the veil. Um, yeah. Don't be too emotional about money situations. Okay. You're getting some downloads. You're getting some type of uh, feeding from, from the universe, from spirit. You need to do something with it. One more card for the moon. We have to say for the moon. There are um, hidden enemies or something that's enemy or contrary to what it is you say you want. I don't know if you lying to yourself. That could be contrary to what you say you really want, right? Deception, self-deception. Yeah, the judgment card. Um, you need to make some fast snap decision about maybe bringing something back from the past something you used to do something that 
was something about earned income, something you used to do every single day. Some of you need to do something every single day. Whether it's write your goals down, whether it's do some type of work for yourself, or you need to do something every single day. Letting it, letting days go by or a day go by that you don't work on, the universe is saying no. Don't don't deceive yourself. All right. Having an affair with a coworker. All right, let's see what is going on with this. Who is having an affair with a coworker? Number one. Let's see who is having an affair with a coworker. Okay. The death card. Five of Wands. Somebody could be trying to end it though. You know, in this petty affair, this love affair. Yeah. Uh it could be an emperor. Okay, so an older gentleman. Maybe he had a lot of people he was sleeping with at a job. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and the three of cups rolled out with the eight of cups. So it's like somebody's trying to walk away from this. Walk away from that lifestyle. Walk away from doing that, from being so deceptive. Um it's something doesn't even fulfill them anymore. There's discontentment. You know, just somebody has analyzed themselves and saying, you know what? I might be a piece of shit. Yeah, I might be a piece of shit. You know, yeah, I need to, I need to change. I, I'm, I'm ready for the change. I'm ready to walk away from this. It doesn't even fulfill me anymore. You know, so somebody's taking their power back. Um. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. The star card, the page of wands. It could be that an Aquarius was sleeping with somebody. These are cards where somebody just wants someone for sex. Okay. So maybe there was a coworker here. Uh, if you were sleeping with your coworker, Aquarius, or maybe your person was, it was just purely, merely sexual activity. It wasn't love. It wasn't, we we're going to run away, you know, in, you know, off into the sunset and live a life. Yep. Look, it was the high priestess. You knew this or you know it, or you are the person in the background. Um, oh, oh, also her. So if this isn't you and somebody was sleeping around with you and creeping with you or you with them or whatever, um, then it was that your person was doing this with someone else. But this is how they look at you. You're a threat to everyone else in their life. You know, you are number one. You are the... Um, the head honcho, the top one, you know, because there's so much dignity and so much respect, honor, regard for you. Okay. So it was just sex. Like someone's look up to someone for a sexual activity for fun. Okay. And, and like hook up. Okay. So somebody was hooking up maybe with a lot of different people, but this is how they, they revere you in the relationship with you. Um, so it's like somebody's trying to walk away from that. Let's get some cards about maybe who you could be dealing with and then we'll close out. I think this was a really good reading, Aquarius. It really uh, maybe answered a lot of questions for you from money to what you should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis um, to maybe the fact that you need to leave somebody alone and let them change. Let's see. Oh, these cards are all wonky. I don't know how they got like this. All right, let's see. Um... Okay, so yeah, somebody was dealing with like a young female or somebody who was just more so into themselves, their hair, the culture, music, you know, not a relationship. Maybe that's who somebody was sleeping around with, creeping with. Yeah, they were keeping this person in the dark. You could be dealing with a dark male, someone who has maybe a darker hue to their skin color, curly hair, something like that. Okay. Um, could be of a different ethnicity. All right, let's see. Yeah, open relationship. Somebody was just open to everything and everybody here. Um, one person wanted the relationship open. The other person was like, I thought it was me and you. Um, let's see what else. Whoa, triangle. Yeah, somebody had you in a third party situation. Uh, or they had more than one person who that they were um, spending their time with, which made it a triangle, which made it difficult to bond. Okay. Yeah, mature woman. Yeah, looks like that high priestess there, that mature woman, maybe walked away from this, okay? Or uh, the mature woman had two men or, you know, two different people. I don't know. Um, 
but it's more so like somebody said you know what you know i'm a little too mature for this so i'm going to walk away uh what else do we have yes yeah, spiritual growth so let somebody grow up you may have met a person so that you can grow spiritually they can grow spiritually um again back to twin flame could be your twin flame soulmate i don't know um ice king yeah so this is an older gentleman very knowledgeable smart could be something like a, a professor a lawyer somebody who was kind of cut off to their emotions but it looks like they may have fallen in love uh with you aquarius or vice versa this is you aquarius male yeah past love there was a breakup somebody wants the the past back they want their past person back yeah somebody really wants to move away from where they are the, the go, getting around and sleeping with a lot of different people and traveling around they want to go to union maybe with you aquarius yeah there's a lot of gossip surrounding this person also this person did a lot of talking not enough action they could be getting karma could be dealing with a fair male okay or someone's trying to come to the light someone sees you as innocent sweet naive could be those people that hate you your past life you could have been um egyptian or have some type of royalty or yeah we got the purple there you are royal or you're of royal blood yep A mature man decided to go and mess around with maybe a younger woman date her she could have been dating other people this person was out for gifts and trips and things of that nature there's also some um, some courting man who's willing to give you all of those things right and then there's another woman here who may be looking in on that So this is who you're dealing with. This is what's going on here. Um, Aquarius, they want me to tell you that you got a whole lot of money coming to you if you haven't already got it. And somebody is lovesick over you. Just can't even get out of bed. But when they showed up in the relationship with you, they, they couldn't maintain the relationship. They wanted it, but couldn't maintain it. Okay. Um, yeah, because somebody was of uh, two minds about the relationship or somebody was, you know, maybe sexuality or orientation was in question or they just were just back and forth you know but you guys this chemistry is off the chart um someone sees you as a white witch yeah they see you as you have a very inner knowing but you're good yeah you you know you can read their mind telepathy definitely somebody wants to travel with you okay that may take you by surprise but someone needs to do the healing okay so that's what i have thank you aquarius i hope that it resonates with for you let me know what part resonated for you uh, these big uh colorful cards let me know what card resonated for you chemistry off the charts boyfriend or girlfriend wants to travel with you are you the white witch all right um or do you practice or have you experienced telepathy um, let me know what resonates for you Aquarius down in the comment section go over to the website book your own reading there where you can kind of drill down on what you need to focus on to move forward um, you can also catch me live every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday night 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, you can ask a question right now by texting it to the number below thank you Aquarius many blessings to you take care